His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today the World Endurance Championship, which is held in Slovakia. The Bahrain World Equestrian Endurance Federation team is participating under the chairmanship of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon the arrival of His Majesty the King, he was received by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and the president of the West Asia Athletic Association, head of Bahrain Athletic Association, plus a number of members of the royal family. His Majesty the King exchanged cordial talks with the Deputy President of the UAE, Premier and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and also with the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. They also talked about the strong relations linking Bahrain and the UAE, and the role endurance sports plays in enhancing bonds and cooperation among the countries of the world. Then His Majesty the King attended the World Championship where the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team is participating along with 45 countries. The championship is considered a major one with the participation of well-known riders from around the world. His Majesty expressed his thanks and appreciation for the generous reception and warm hosting. His Majesty presented His Highness Sheikh Nasser with a gift for achieving the third place in the World Championship in Slovakia and the first place among Arab participants. He praised the level of performance of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, congratulating him and the team for making this achievement. His Majesty also thanked the second Vice President of the International Equestrian Federation, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah, for organizing, supervising and providing facilitations for participants. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to participate in such events in order to enhance communication and exchange of expertise. He held the level of performance of the team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the various achievements they make in various events, affirming that Bahrainis are capable of competing internationally and achieving the highest positions. His Majesty also held the cooperation between the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Race and the International Equestrian Federation for achieving success in the sport pointing out that Bahrain has one of the best stables registered in the WHO organization. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in developing endurance race and participating in regional and international events to improve the level of performance in this field. He wished all riders success in future competitions. طول العمر نحن شاكرين لك اول شيء وسعيدين جدا باستضافتك عبر قناه ياس. والله انا اللي شاكر لكم جهودكم الكبيره في يعني توعيه الناس عن هذه الرياضه الاصيله. فالمناسبه نشكر سمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد اللي شجع واسس وشجع كذلك دول أن يكون عندها هذا النشاط. واحنا مشاركين كاخوه لكم. والنتيجة واحدة فوز نتيجتنا الإمارات. فوزنا ولا فوزكم واحد؟ ايه فوز الامارات فوز البحرين ومشاركة البحرين ومشاركة الامارات بالتاكيد طول العمر شو انطباعك عن المشاركة البحرينية اليوم؟ المشاركة البحرينية على مستواها دائما في المقدمة يعني تشارك وتنافس 
هو هذا روح الرياضة بس أن تكون بروح رياضية تحدي بروح رياضية هذا شيء عظيم طول العمر في مملكة البحرين رياضة القدرة صار لها باع كبير في السنوات الأخيرة صار فيه اهتمام كبير من سموكم ومن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد أيضا في هذه الرياضة شو اللي تطمحوا له شو الخطوات القادمة بالنسبة لرياضة القدرة اللي لاقت اهتمام كبير في الإمارات وفي مملكة البحرين والله أقول هذا عند الابن ناصر هو عنده استراتيجيته وسياساته في الخيل وفي الرياضة هو مهب حولي يسمع لكن هو اليوم قدوة الشباب فجابوا شباب البحرين نتائج طيبة في مختلف الأنشطة الرياضية لأنه هو بنفسه يشارك وينافس ويقبل المنافسة وبروح رياضية يعني انفاز هنو وانخسر هناهم هذا أهم شيء والعمر شاكري لك جزيل الشكر مرة ثانية على تواجدك معنا في قناة شكرا أخي شكرا سباق ما كان بسيط احنا كلنا ادينا الواجب اللي انا قمت به قلت اوفيت بوعدي اني بمشي على الخطه اللي انا راسمها ولله الحمد هذه الخطه ودتني للامام وفي مقدمه الفرسان والتوب فايف الحمد لله اعتقد ان يا المركز الرابع او الثالث لحد الان ما تحدد بعد فحوصات الخيل الباقيه بس اتوقع اتوقع ثالث اتوقع ثالث لكن لو سالتك عن السباق اليوم شنو الخطه كانت؟ على الخطه مثل ما خبرتك الخطه موفق رائد توفيق ان شاء الله. آه مثل ما خبرتك رائد هذا آه عضو فريقي آه يكون في الامام ويسحب وياخذ الرسك وانا حصاني انت تعرفه يا مركز الخامس في كاس رئيس الدوله. حصان ما يمشي بيس قوي، يمشي بيس واحد من الصبح لي الفنش. تفاجات المرحله الاخيره انه ما نزل عن 31 لحصان في البيس. يوم ضاء المراحل كلها يمشي 25 24 25 24 من الانطلاق بس يوم طلعت المرحله الاخيره ما شاء الله عليه عرف ان هذه مرحله اخيره يعني ابغى اهدي 
وهو يروح بروحه ما شاء الله عليه لين ما وصل الفنش وانا ما طلبت من الحصان ابدا احنا دائما نثني على جهود اللي تاتينا فيها التوجيهات جلاله الملك وصاحب سمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد اليوم كانوا متواجدين واكيد كان لهم دعم تكلمت معاهم اكيد انا شفت في اكثر من نقاش بس ابي اعرف شو اللي صار والله هم موجودين وإذا هم موجودين وخيرنا ما تأدي شيء على ظهورنا ونركضها الشيخ محمد وجلالة الملك موجودين لازم أن إحنا نعطي أمية بالمية من من جهودنا كلها وجود ميانا بس يكفي يكفي يعني وجود الشيخ محمد في هذه الرياضة هو 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 شريان هذه الرياضة آه الآن المستقبل آه بالنسبة لرياضة القدرة في مملكة البحر والله إحنا نتعلم منكم وإحنا نستفيد هذه الخبرة منكم أني ونشارككم مثل الموسم اللي طاف نحتك وياكم وتغلبونا 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 لكن هذا اللي احنا يطورنا ويفيدنا صراحه لكن لكم طلعات الشيخ لازم لازم لنا طلعات على قل الخيل الحمد لله نقدر نحصل الكواليتي اللي يقدر على الاقل يبرز نفسه من بين الكثره انا اشكر جزيل الشكر واقول لك الف مبروك الله يطول عمرك مشكورين مشكورين The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation Team Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the presence of His Majesty the King of the World Endurance Championship held in Slovakia. His Highness underlined the constant support of His Majesty the King to the Royal Team in order to achieve positive results in the World Championships. His Highness Sheikh Nasser, who led the Royal Endurance Team, achieved the third place in the world and the first at the level of Arab horsemen in the championship, which was followed up by the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Jockey Ra'ed Mahmoud was placed fourth in the championship and placed second at the Arab level. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the presence of His Majesty the King and his eagerness to follow up on the race was emotive to all riders in order to achieve the best results in the championship. His Highness praised the efforts by the Royal Team riders in the World Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser finished the 160-kilometer race at 6 hours, 49 minutes and 47 seconds. Spanish riders Bethany Goma and Moral Alex achieved first and second place, while Royal Team rider Raed Mahmoud was placed fourth.
Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa arrived in New York, where he will rather participate in the 71st session of the UN General Assembly, the UNGA, Sustainable Development and the Challenges Facing Various Countries of the World, particularly the scourge of terrorism, will top the agenda of the session. It will also include the Palestinian cause, the situation in Yemen and Syria, refugees, the total elimination of weapons of mass destruction, and human rights. The minister will take part in the coordination meetings of the foreign ministers of the GCC countries, as well as the ministerial meeting of the Arab group and the organization of the Islamic Cooperation. He will also meet a number of his counterparts from brotherly and friendly countries and senior UN officials on the sidelines of the UNGA session. The foreign minister said that the kingdom's participation in the UNGA session reflected its belief in the pivotal role of the UN in promoting global security and peace, as well as in the importance of organized collective work among countries and through the UN as the best way to overcome common challenges and realize the aspirations of all people for development and progress. The minister expressed hope that the UNGA session would have outcomes that enhance joint international action and contribute to resolving the crises around the world. The Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, has been granted the Minister of the Year 2016 award by the famous Petroleum Economist magazine for his efforts in developing the energy sector in Bahrain over the past years. The Minister received the award during a ceremony held on September 15th at the Banking Hall in London's Financial District in the presence of a number of ministers, senior officials and decision makers from all over the world. The magazine said that Dr. Mirza was granted the award thanks to his remarkable contributions in developing the energy sector in his country and enhancing relations with regional international oil and energy companies. In a press statement following the ceremony, Dr. Mirza dedicated the award to the leadership, stressing that the honoring was the result of the leadership's constant support to him throughout his tenure as minister. He added that the top award is an honor to Bahrain and extended thanks to the officials and staff of the oil, gas, electricity and water sectors. He said the prestigious award confirms the soundness of the Kingdom's development approach, especially in the midst of the global situation. The ceremony also featured the honoring of energy sector pioneers including CEOs of world energy companies. Leading world sustainable energy projects were also honored. <laughs> 